Now, here's something I'm going to explain to you. These are both T-Mobile phones, and both T-Mobile phones were once upon a time on a contract last year. And what I did was I took both devices into a T-Mobile store. And I took both devices that were on a contract and I switched them back to a prepaid um, T-Mobile uh, service for $80. Now both of these phones were on a contract as I said earlier. So what I did was I took both phones into a T-Mobile store and I paid $80 to have both SIM cards switched back to a prepaid T-Mobile wireless service. Why did I do that? For one thing, I saved myself the hassle of having to buy another phone. Now, let me tell you something. That was the smartest thing that I ever did as far as two devices that I actually had on a contract with T-Mobile. So, if you've paid off your devices that you've had on a contract with T-Mobile, like I did, and actually took the phones and had them put back on a prepaid wireless um, T-Mobile account, that's better than risking flashing a phone. Why do I say that? It's because when you flash your phone, you don't have any guarantee that the phone is actually going to be flashed over to the network that you want. And if a company tells you you have to send your device out, would you really risk sending your phone out to have it flashed and then kind of find out some of the features and services may not work and then you have to pay a fee and you don't know exactly if it's the phone that you sent to the company or if you didn't. So my advice is this. These two phones here are proof in the pudding that I've had this service with T-Mobile prepaid on my uh, Galaxy Note 5 and my LG Stylo 2, which is on my left. And I will tell you that um, taking the phones in earlier during the month to have them uh, put back on a prepaid uh, T-Mobile account is better than buying newer devices. I saved myself some money. Plus that, the plan that I have is $80 um, on both devices, which both have um, a mobile hotspot. I have unlimited data plan, and I have better coverage than I do with Boost Mobile. Now, am I going to consider at some point going to Cricket or Metro PCS? Maybe Metro PCS, maybe, maybe not. But here's what I'll say. I don't think that's going to be happening um, under my circumstances um, right away. But I will say this. It's not something that I'm going to, you know, worry about because I do got T-Mobile service. So as you can see, these are the T-Mobile devices here. You can see the T-Mobile logos and apps that I downloaded. Um, so I didn't really lose much because the apps that I had downloaded to both devices were devi uh, these were apps that were downloaded to both devices um, during um, earlier part of uh, 2017. So last year, last summer when I had T-Mobile service on a contract, um, I actually had paid and um, got both of these devices um, like 2016 or something like that. So the apps and services that I already had, so when I let the contract go for a minute, um, as I say, I, I made a smart move by taking the devices into um, a T-Mobile store and I took the SIM cards out that was on a contract and I actually have both lines of service for $80 on T-Mobile's network. Now, you know, as I say, it's up to each individual's uh, circumstances of how and uh, what they can do. I can't say, but I do know this, that what I pay uh, what my monthly plan is, is $80 for two phones that were on a contract. And uh, I paid both devices off. Also, I had my Samsung Galaxy S2 tablet. And, you know, I paid off my devices. And it's a good thing that I did because if I, if I hadn't paid off my T-Mobile phones, I wouldn't have been able to take either one of these phones into a T-Mobile store and have them put on a prepay contract. So, in a nutshell, that's what I did. Now, you know, as I say, with Metro and Cricket, Cricket's a little bit more expensive. Metro is a little bit less expensive than T-Mobile, and that's what I would recommend if you're going to go that route. But I would not recommend flashing a phone because you do have to pay a fee and you have to ship the phone out. Even if you take the phone to a store, you have to have it sent out and sent back to you. 
And, you know, I don't know if I want to spend risking that kind of money.